And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Renekton. Our next viewer submitted donation deck. This one's probably going to be pretty good. We're playing both Sharima and Ionia together and a lot of the very best cards in the format. Ruin Runner, Sivir, Merciless Hunter, Treasure Seeker. So probably going to be pretty good. We're going to be combining that instead of like action that we normally see or you know another champion. We're going to be combining it with Renekton. Renekton's going to have whenever it challenges an enemy, give me plus two, plus one, and it has the Overwhelm. There's lots of ways to challenge either Merciless Hunter, Rock Hopper, those things are uh, being able to get vulnerable to stuff. But then we're also going to have Ruthless Predator and Sonic Wave. Both of these cards are great with Sivir as well. Our other champion, Sivir with Challenger, is exactly what you want. We'll also have Young Witch to be able to support and give Quick Attack to these different things that are challenging. But then we'll also have Rush. Besides Young Witch, we'll have Rush to give Quick Attack for, um, again, these cards that are challenging. And that's going to be great with, you know, Red Necton and Ruin Runner. You know, especially those kind of cards, giving them Quick Attack. Pretty amazing. So we'll have those together. And then Flurry of Fist. Two copies for our Quick Attack allies to be able to give them Double Attack. <laughs> so yeah, we could make a big Red Necton, Double Attack, Overwhelm. Yeah, that could be pretty awesome. And of course, we can throw that stuff on Sivir as well. Triple Spirits Refuge, that card is amazing. And this deck's looking good. It's looking real good. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We're going to go play our games on over in Ranked. Let's play five games. And let's see how we do with Sivir Renekton. Okay, we have Ezreal Karma to start off with. So our deck's really built around combat with all the different um, challenging things. And, oh, this is a good hand. All the different challenging things and like the rushes. A card like a deck like this that's just trying to remove all of our stuff, that's gonna lessen the impact of a card like Rush or Flurry of Fist, Ruthless Predator, right? Like these kind of spells are not gonna be as good against a removal heavy control deck. With that being said, we still have a bunch of like spell shield units and, and things like that, so I think we should still be okay. But this is the kind of deck that can, could theoretically give us trouble. I think I'm just passing. Oh. So using a Ruthless Predator gets us set up for... Uh, getting two for one fairly easily. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. And even though I'm not, you know, having I don't have any protection for the Sivir right now from you know double spell, which is what they're gonna use, we have triple ruin runner. <laughs> you know, like we'll we'll be able to use ruin runners for protection in a little while. I don't know why they didn't attack the three. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. All right, gonna take out the Eye of the Dragon. It means they don't get to block that Dragling, and now they don't get to create more Draglings. The dragon lives. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. Yep. That old trick again. Shape what you want without mercy. Lots of room runners. Some treasure is a good card. I think I'll just attack like this. I don't know. Maybe I should. Off we go! Slow down! 
think that's where we're gonna go this. Difficult to think about. But yeah, you can tell this this deck's definitely built for like other Sivir for playing against other Sivir decks with having all of these ways to win combat. It is not really built for the decks that just play a lot of spells. So I'll put him down to three. If I would have played Waking Sands, would I have won right there? They had no mana. They would have saved. They don't know what they're up against. But we would have dealt two extra damage. So no. We gotta just get three damage across with our two Ruin Runners. Can we do it? My best draw is Deny. I think. Alright, so if we draw Sivir... Okay, so if we play Waking Sands and Sivir, that's six mana, which would mean that I would have six other mana. So I'd have enough for a Spirit's Refuge and a Ruthless Predator. I think that's worth it. I think it's because you know their their deck's built around spells. So this, this forces them to spend mana because like this is gonna force them to spend mana on getting two blockers, one for Sivir, one for the Sandstone Charger, and then after that, then they're also gonna have to then still have the mana in the cards to deal with the two Ruin Runners that they're gonna have to before. Cards like Concussive Palm make this plan a little worse. But Concussive Palm was already gonna be kind of difficult to um to completely deal with. Okay, so Sivir first. on this thing. It's going to be really difficult for them to stop this Ruin Runner and then also stop the other Ruin Runner, right? Like, they're not going to be able to stop both Ruin Runners with only five mana. Yep. So Sivir gains the double attack, which then gives everything else double attack after the level up. And so Ruin Runner, double attack, overwhelm. That will get this done for sure. So I think that was worth spending that extra mana to set that up. The real treasure is friendship. Nah, it's the gold. Triple Ruin Runner. Okay, so here's our mirror match. The the regular Sivir action that's the most popular version. So let's see how we do in combat against it with, with a lot of ways to, to challenge and all that kind of stuff. I am sending that back for sure. I'm not sure what to think about Preservarium, like if it's worth spending two mana on Preservarium early. I could see just like a lot of stuff trading and we want Preservarium to like help make sure that we have stuff afterwards. Because even a card like Sivir, it's difficult to protect Sivir against their Merciless Hunter. Look 
don't think I'm playing Renekton here. Like Renekton, give quick attack. Because then I do have like the backup Renekton also. Like, assuming they're going to want to give this Honored Lord Challenger. I think Renekton's more disposable than Sivir is. So I'm, let's go Renekton. Let's hold on to Sivir. Okay, well that's unfortunate. That card consistently overperforms in this deck, the Bright Steel Protector. It's consistently overperforming. Alright, so barriers are dominating so far. So no matter what I block, I'm taking a lot of damage. None of these cards really help me block very well. Our deck's not really supposed to block, it doesn't look like. So what we learned here in this game is that barriers are better than quick attack. All that glitters is mine. Barrier beats quick attack every day of the week. We have three copies of Lifesteal Barrier card in our deck. That would be one of our best draws. I have to hope that both myself and Renekton do don't die this round. Don't do it's not very likely. Lifesteal barrier. No. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. Yeah, looks like we're dead. Good game, opponent. Protect and strike. This is justice. Glorious battle. This pay by the hour. Their plan is rally. I do. I do have deny. Okay, we need life steal barrier. Right, like that's that's about the only thing we need that card. Okay, so now we have that. We have five other mana. So we have to go all in. I can't just cast Flurry of Fists first, can I? They're, they're just not going to block. This way, go. They just don't block. I don't know why they would block. But yeah. I'm a woman of so what was my other option? I want the hope they block. Cause, so my plan, okay, my plan was to use my nine mana exactly with, um, it has to get the quick attack first, so then I have to play the Flurry Fist after it gets the quick attack. And that's, 
you know, I just have to wait till after the support. So my plan was to use Flurry of Fists and then plus three plus zero on Twin Disciplines and then Spirit's Refuge. So I could have gone, if I would have just, if I would have just not, yeah, assumed that they just weren't going to block, which is what happened, they didn't block. If we would have gone, why didn't I just think about this more? So if we've gone Rush plus Flurry, that's plus two. Um, so that would have been seven. So seven double attack with Spirit's Refuge that so would have healed 14. The first, oh, the first strike would have leveled up Renekton, but then I guess it wouldn't have gotten the attack plus three plus three. Yeah, they should still never block, but, and that wouldn't have killed them. That would have put them down to six, and I would have just been at 16, and I'm still probably likely dead. This game kind of shows why I've, I've never been that big of a fan of, like, Flurry and Rush, though. Barrier just dominated those two things. You like magic? So close, still zero. Not sure that there's too much like early, you know, obviously like, we just got in a really bad spot there. Was there anything I could have done differently early on? This should be a really good matchup for us. Right, like we're both in combat, but this is where like challenging and quick attack should really, really shine here. And in fact, um, I want champions. In fact, Spirit's Refuge is perfect in this matchup too. Like this, if we lose this, I'm gonna feel like a, I'm gonna feel pretty bad. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely feel like I did something wrong. Okay, we are going to seek the treasure. Bingo. Gently, gently. <laughs> oh, would you look at this place? What a shame for you! We got it first. That was a good card for them to play. That worked out pretty well for them. See you, Vuj. Okay. Alright, so far so good. Now time to put some put a lot of pressure on them. My plan here is double waking sands and Renekton. And you know, like whatever they play to block. Yeah, have Renekton challenge that thing. Alternatively, we could just challenge we could just go like this. I go this. Okay, so we're still threatening lethal going like this, but then I also kill the 6-6. Six, six. Then if they have Bone Skewer and gets rid of the 6-6, six, six, then I have all this Overwhelm. So, like, it, it kills them even more. Yeah, that's going to be a matchup we're going to win. Nine times out of ten, probably. Okay, we have Jarvan Shen. I think I want to keep Spears Refuge against Jarvan Shen, and honestly, like, Twin Disciplines is also really good against Jarvan Shen, but of course we need our units. 
So I guess maybe we send it all back, but Spirit's Refuge and Twin Discipline are both very good quality cards. But it doesn't matter if you don't have a unit. Because I don't mind trading Rock Hopper for Flea Feather Tracker is the reason to play the Rock Hopper first. Could have simply just attacked for two. Okay, so one of their cards is one mana cheaper. You're covered. We do not know which one. That is why I wouldn't mind trading. <clears throat> that is why I would not have minded trading the Rock Hopper for the Flea Feather Tracker. I wonder if I should have traded 4-3 for 3-2. Three, three, Renekton, I found something special for you. If it bleeds, it's special enough. Put them to no retreat. My steel is yours. Alright, so I have the barrier for Jarvan. Yeah, the five mana Jarvan. So we got the barrier there. Now, am I supposed to be trading or do I just keep on taking three? Maybe I'm supposed to trade. I don't know. Let's have all these ways to give this quick attack. Alright, two out of three. Good quality turn for them. Go get this tiny dove. Another heavy barrier deck. Kind of attacking for a decent amount. That's my plan. So they're going to be... Like, if Lifesteal Barrier is their plan, they would want to Lifesteal Barrier and block Merciless Hunter. So I'm going to be putting that thing last. So that, that they'd have to worry about all these things doing damage to them. Also. So the good news is they only have two cards left. That's the good news. The bad news is I am in a horrible spot. I'm gonna just pass here. Oh gosh. Dragon levels up. Alright, I guess. Yeah, I think barriers be quick attack again. Yeah, I guess barriers be quick attack again. Because, like, I was worried about them, like, having Cataclysm right here. Yeah, they were just gonna have that. I knew I needed Deny. I knew I should've just passed. But the thing is, is, like, I couldn't... Once Jarvan levels up, I can't really pass either, so... Maybe not so many copies of, like, Rush. And things like that, and maybe more Quicksand. So, again, slow control deck. Again, we don't want any, any of the... Like, this style card against low control. We don't need cards that just simply win the game. Let's see some quicksands in here. Yeah. 
no merciless hunter. Was the card that would have allowed me to attack for three more. I'm definitely considering. No, I think I just do this. Find your own. Definitely considering having both of those trade and killing their bot as well. Okay, not another Aphelio, so that's good. Okay, never mind, they did have another Aphelio, so they just waited around to plant. Probably going to grab uh, Calibrum. Yep. Aphelios has been awesome in these two games. The last time we played Aphelios, you know, like a week or two ago, it was awesome. Aphelios was. Yes, I, I do. Yeah. Here's your cut. I don't know why they're trading away their Aphelios still. Just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. Yeah, ideally we'd have we'll have Sivir level up first before Spirit's Refuge. Ideally. It's a 19 right now. Then again, we're going to need other attackers alongside with. Alongside with Sivir, so this would be just 29. I was planning on attacking with the 2 1, but now that they played the Mountain Go. Okay. I was going to attack with the Treasure Seeker to level up Sivir. That's a good card. That's a card I wish we had a long time ago. Right now it's six elusive, including the gem. So that's seven.
Gets rid of spell shield. Wow. Okay, so we're going back up to 20. And this is a game again. Because, yeah, any, like, you know, if, it, if they get excited, they could just get excited at me. But. So they do, they did have leveled up Zoe. So therefore. All these things can, you know, get elusive and spell shield and all sorts of other stuff that they get to gain from these different Targon cards. But that, you know, that's going to buy us a little bit of time. That should buy us a little bit of time. I'm just going to play this thing for defensive purposes because... I don't really want to play it on my round, because I play it, they grab it to him. Like, I, I'm going to want to open attack. Yeah, that's not bad. Alright, so everything... Overwhelm spell shield. We could still definitely have this. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. They attack him for 16. We got it first. Oh, the spell shield. No mercy. I don't get to challenge because spell shield. What if I would pass if they'd play something else? Like probably not. Yes, if I play this Ruthless Predator, we level up Renekton. But... Like, they probably don't play that if I would have passed, do they? I mean, if I'm them, I'm definitely just going to the next round. Okay. Alright, so I ended up two and three. All right, so we only had a two and three, unfortunately. Um, really, I don't know. There's just some some things that just didn't really work out very well with the deck. Um, one, like our card advantage, right? Like we were getting completely out card advantaged in a lot of our, our losses. Our opponents had a lot more cards than us. There's just the two Preservariums in here. Maybe there should be a third, maybe. But I mean, I think that, I think we kind of really did see in th this game why action is played a lot more highly than Renekton. Um, unfortunately, you know, like we tried to try to make Renekton work, but Renekton costing the same as Sivir was definitely a downfall where action gets to come out earlier, but then action also gets you those extra cards that you need, which really help and, you know, having the quick attack already. Yeah. So that, that, yeah, that, cause that definitely felt off of us just, you know, having to wait till round four for both champions and, and then you know, usually you won't play like one champion around four, the other one around five, but then you also have Ruin Runner, so that was just kind of messy, all of that together. But I was really disappointed with Rush. You know, like, we never really wanted Rush, especially we play, played against a lot of barriers, so like Rush, Flurry of Fists, um, really underperformed. The, the Flurry of Fists helped win one of the games, so that, that so, you know, this is the kind of card that could be like a, like a one of kind of try to finish, but I've just never been really impressed with, with those type cards, with Rush, Flurry of Fists those kind of things even ruthless predator really underperformed for us so that's too bad that those all did um i think i probably would have rather seen seen like some quicksands and um maybe some other like ways to protect our champions because like quicksand can help protect them like in combat right like we couldn't block anything because like rush flurry like these only help whenever you're attacking and so if we were behind at all which we were because we had to wait till round four to play our champions for behind at all we couldn't we couldn't block and so that was a big downfall of, of our deck, just not being able to block at all. So like Quicksand, Ancient Hourglass, it, using Exhaust instead of like Ruthless Predator, I would have rather had Exhaust with um, it just being a mana cheaper, which is very important, and the minus two, minus zero to help things survive. But 
the the theory is that you have like the quick attack and everything like that but it just didn't work out in practice maybe some other removal you know like grappling hook to like just give you other removal that's not in combat that kind of stuff could have been nice because that helps both champions level up with just striking for some damage um i don't know maybe maybe stuff like that Anyway, uh, that's going to be it here, though, for Sivir Renekton with Ionia. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Rush and Flurry of Fists. If, if you think that those cards are better than what I do, let me know. Um, yeah, just, you know, got any, any ideas for the deck, feel free to put them in the comment section. Or if you try it out yourself, let me know how it goes. Always love hearing from y'all and uh, let me know how the deck goes for you. All right, but that's going to be it here for this one. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.